We know that coming to Walt Disney World can be very overwhelming with all the fast passes, the dining reservations, even getting from attraction to attraction can be extremely overwhelming. But we've got a friend that can help you make your next trip to Walt Disney World even more magical. It's Ramon and Theme Park Concierges. You can visit themeparkconcierges.com or call them at 407-257-9973. Ramon and his amazing team of VIP concierges will take care of you from the moment you arrive at the park until the moment you go back to your resort. They can take care of you for a four-hour time slot or a full day. It all depends on what you need. They can take care of your dining reservations, your fast passes, and even make sure that you find even more magic hidden in the Disney parks. Well, contact our friends, themeparkconcierges.com, or call 407-257-9973 and tell them your friends over at the Disney Parks Podcast sent you. Welcome to the Disney Parks Podcast with your hosts, Tony Castlenova from DisneyByTheNumbers.com and Park Hopper John from WDWParkHoppers.com. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the podcast at all times. And get ready for the Disney Parks Podcast. I'm Park Hopper John, uh, Lucy from www.parkhoppers.com. Uh, sitting across from me is Mr. Tony Casanova from Disney by the Numbers. Dot com. Yeah. And uh, today we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, kind of our top hits for 2017. Kind of, mm. you know, this is our look back to 2017, yeah. the year in review. Yeah. Is there one thing above all else that you, you really, really. It, we're excited about in 2017. He's thinking. No, you can't smell the smoke. Yeah, not, not one thing that you know. Totally, I I think I I guess the announcements that came out of D23 are always, you know, when they, when they they have a D23 uh, expo and they make all the park announcements. Those those are the things that get me uh, excited. Yeah, I'm the same way. I think. Um, I think though I, th- uh, you know, uh, Guardians. It wasn't Ga- Pandora. No, God, it wasn't Pandora. Pandora was a <laughs> joke, and and I'm sorry. I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there who disagree with me, but I'm I'm sorry. I just I just don't think that that's the end, Doctor Carol. Yeah. Uh, I do, however, um, I was very excited about Guardians Two coming out, mm. and therefore I was very excited about the information about. You know they've they've been dribbling and drabbling some information about Guardians the Ride coming to Walt Disney World. Uh, right. News came out the other day that it's it's going to be a roller coaster, but there's not going to be any inversions. Oh, that's so there's a shame. there's no upside downness to it. Yeah, probably because they want to make it pretty kid friendly. I think. Okay. Uh, okay. But yeah. you know, you have the rock and roller coaster goes upside down. Yeah. You know, there's there's no other. Inversion, major ride that goes upside down, yeah. and we're we're losing. I don't think they're an inversion type of. Uh, if you want thrills, you go to Universal. Right. If you want well themed storytelling built around a coaster, then you go to Walt Disney World. Right. <laughs> you know. Uh. Yeah. So I mean, I think that kind of. And you want to pay a lot more. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think that would probably be. I mean, I want to go back and look as we're talking about it, but mm. you know, 2017 was. It wasn't necessarily a horrible year, no. But it wasn't a great year for news. Mm. You know, we didn't get we didn't get any major holy crap announcements. Yeah. Well, we are getting another Star Wars in a couple of days. Well, that's true. <laughs> Very excited about that. Yeah. Ticket? You get tickets? I, I got tickets. Yep, going uh, the sixteenth. Uh, well, I'll see it before you. I'm going to go Friday. Oh, are you? It's a long story. So I was hanging out with some friends um, up at this church that I I, I consult at, right. and the one guy looks at me. Just out of the blues, like, hey, man, 
you want to go see Star Wars on Friday? And I'm like, uh, sure, I'd love to, but dude, tickets. He's like, no, no, man. We'll go during the day. You can get away during the day, right? Uh, you know, and my wife, who Does was... Does he tickets? Hang on. No. It was a dream. One man's dream to go see Star Wars in the middle of the day on Friday, the day that it comes out. Mm -hmm. So I look over at my wife, who is the president of my company. Not that I have to get permission, but... Yeah. You know, I kind of, is that okay with you? Are you right. good with that? Because, you know, I know she wants to go see it. Yeah. She's like, yeah, go see it with your friends. I f you know, mom, can I go out and play with the boys? Right. <laughs> so she said, yeah. So I just get on the phone and we, I look at this movie theater and at 1230 up in Lake County, which is where we were yeah. up near Mount Dora. Yeah. There were six seats wow. sold. The rest of the theater was wide open. Wow. And all the. That's not the case at Disney Springs. <laughs> no, it's not. So literally, you could look at the theater, and it's like the front two, the next two, the next two, the next like one column. We're all in the dead center of the theater. Wow! <laughs> just to see it. So yeah, we're we're gonna go on Friday. Yeah. So uh, very excited. We're going about that. on in the afternoon. We're sitting all the way in the back, just a little bit left of center. Um, and, and the back is fine with me. I mean, because it's you know, it's not like it's a flat theater anymore. It's all stadium seating. Right. So I'll have a better view anyway. Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, I'm excited. I am too. I, I'm excited. I, I hope that they, I hope that they answer some questions that we've all been wondering. You know, the relationship with Ray and Kylo Ren. Yeah. Uh, I'm, Chinese is coming back to haunt me. <laughs> um, I am not looking forward to seeing uh, Carrie Fisher. Carrie Fisher. Yeah. That's gonna be. That's gonna be weird. Yeah. Um, I see dead people. I see dead people. Uh, but I think overall, it's going to be um, a phenomenal movie. It looks, it just looks great. It yeah. looks like a Star Wars film. Right. You know, and the the big announcement coming out that they're going to do three more mm. after this that does not revolve around the Skywalker family. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, Is it? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, we'll, we'll definitely be able to tell... Next year, Mark next Hamill's year being very cagey yeah. in his comments. Well, he kind of came off as a jerk on one of the talk shows. He's kind of really down mm. about it mm. uh, a, a while ago. So I think he's kind of, yeah. you know, but uh, I know that was it Han Solo comes out next year, right? Yeah. That'll be kind of the litmus test because Rogue One kind of had the built-in, right. you know, fan base <clears throat> from, the, from the new movies to yeah. Star Wars, the original. Mm -hmm. So I think that, you know, can there be a standalone Han Solo movie? Right. You know, that holds up. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. But that's next year. Yeah. We're talking about this year. Right. Uh, so what are some of the news items that came out of this year? We found out that, uh, you know, we knew Toy Story Land was going to open right. next year, right? 2018. Yeah. yeah. So I put together like a short little list. Right. Um, and I thought, uh, well, Lanuba is closing the end of this year. Yeah. Have they announced anything yet? No. Not a word. Not a word. Nothing. That breaks my heart. Yeah. And they tore down Disney Quest. Yeah. So that and uh, the West Side is going to be dead for a while because... It's going to be roughed over there. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, 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 Wolfgang's is closed, of course, from uh, Splitsville. Splitsville. So it's, it's, it's officially closed now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah it's tore... It's, it's building's gone. What does it say when your number one attraction down there is the House of Blues? Yeah. I mean, that's it. It's saying help. It's, it's Zydeco night, yeah. House of Blues. <laughs> yeah. Um, saying help, fix me. Fix me. Yeah, it's rough, man. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be that way for a while. Yeah. Um So it, yeah, that's gonna be weird. Yeah, because it, it let's say they've been working on something at Cirque to put there. It's probably gonna take a while to refit all the rigging, the technical aspects of the new show in in the theater they're gonna want it. You know, if people are flying and jumping and stuff like they do they're gonna to want to test that, you know. If if they were if they cared about their fans, they would refurb the entire, you know, theater and make the seats yeah. just a hair larger. Yeah, the seats are very tiny. Yeah, they are. I mean, at the end of the show, like you, you hear four thousand people. Yeah, you know, out of the seats. So right. I don't think they're gonna do that. They'll probably, yeah. if anything, they'll make them smaller. Probably, so they can fit more. Fit <laughs> more people in. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, yeah, I'd like to see Blue Man's uh, group come. That that's because they the dream. own it's the same company now. That's the dream. Yeah, to have Blue Man. I would even be fine if they had a Blue Man in Universal and a Blue Man in Disney. Mm. I think it'd be I, oversaturated. I think they should swap them. 
Put, yeah. Put Zerk over there and put Blue Man over here. That would be phenomenal. I'd yeah. be down with that. Yeah. It's going to be very interesting to see what the backstory for the next couple of years because okay. there's no circus there now. Yeah. You know, at Disney Springs. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of there's a lot of things that happened this year just in Disney Springs and you know um Yeah, you they know, announced like five restaurants. Tons of restaurants come. opening. Uh Jose Gar uh not Jose Garcia. Jose uh Andres, his uh paleo is coming, mm-hmm. uh the new Wolfgang is coming, uh Enzo's, the pizza place, the hideaway, the Edison, uh George's wine bar. I mean, we got a lot of the new Italian place. and the new Italian place down by Portobello's. So there's a lot of stuff still coming at Disney Springs, right. and that's cool. I mean, yeah. I I'm a big fan of of their adding more to it because it just it just makes that place. It's always something new. Yeah. Now what'll be sad is in like five years, it's like these things have been here forever. I know. I wonder when they're gonna put in a new place. Put something new in. <laughs> yeah. But it's been but it's been great. I've loved Disney Springs. Uh, they they yeah. should have the new garage opening. Yeah, it should. In the next year. Yeah. Starting to drive in some yeah. pylons. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> uh, oh, so and they're almost done with the construction on Buena Vista Drive, which right. is which is good. And I'm kind of, you know, the plans that they originally showed do not match <laughs> what the current road configuration is. They had a bus lane, literally going all the way down to. Uh, the victory, victory. Uh, all no, all the way down to what the hell is that? Uh, uh, All Star Sports. Gotcha, Buena yeah. Vista. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I, it, it fell a little short of that. Yeah, I thought they would at least have it at least down to to you know victory, victory road. Yeah, you know. Yeah. But no, they're only doing it up to uh, up to what is that? Uh, Bonnet Creek. Yeah, Bonnet Creek. Yeah. Not the resort, Bonnet Creek, the road. Yeah, Bonnet Creek, the road. Right. That was just crazy, yeah. but it does alleviate a lot of that traffic right mm-hmm. there because it's 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 deceptive because when you drive down the road, there's like no traffic. Yeah, you're like nobody's at Disney Springs, and then yeah. you look at the parking garage, you're like there's no freaking parking <laughs> spots. <laughs> yeah, it's full. Yeah, so yeah, and that that sign is not always true either. I've gone know, where right? it says full and there's there's spots, so I nice. don't know what triggers that sign to full. I don't know. I I've I've seen there the sign is full and there's always you know ten or twelve yeah. seats available. So let's uh, let's keep going on your list so we can kind of stay on target. Yep. Uh, you do have Pandora next. Yeah. As much as we kind of rag on it, it it's beautiful. Yeah, you it's know. nice. It's um, there's still a wait to get in there. I think in the morning. Right. Uh, I just heard from some guests that I, I had Ubered the other day that uh, flight of Banshee is still four hours. Brilliant. I said, so did you go on it? And they're like, no. We didn't want to wait four hours. I said, well, who wants to yeah. wait four hours yeah. to ride a ride? I, said, we waited, I think they waited 30, 30, 30 or 35 minutes for the you know, the river ride. Um, yeah, so it's open. If you can, And their other big complaint was they couldn't get fast passes. For, yeah. Yeah, for either of them. Nice. For either of them. Nice. So well, and that's the funny thing that, as great as that place is, it's very pretty. It's great to walk around in, yeah. but they only have two attractions, and when one of your attractions is a four-hour wait, that's half a day. That's four hours, man. Yeah. And you're you're spending a hundred bucks to get into that park. Yeah. And it's just not worth it. Right. I mean, I don't mean to be a negative ninny, and it's a it's a fun ride. It's great, but. Dude, that's four hours of your life that you can't get, get back. back. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, for what is what a sixty-second ride? No, no, it's a minute, like minute four, and a half. It's like four minutes, I think. Right. It's like a three, four-minute ride. So it's a, it's an hour or a minute. <laughs> yeah, basically. So like yeah. somebody's gonna type in, no, it's a seven, seven minute and twenty-second attraction. Yeah, still, okay, great. <laughs> still not worth four it's hours. Yeah. It's thirty, thirty seconds an hour. Yeah. Uh, so that was cool. So we've got uh, what else we got on the list? Yeah. So number eight is uh, the minivans. Shocking. We were shocked when they made that. They rolled that out quick. Made yep. the announcement at the expo and boom. Uh, now I've uh, kept my eyes out. There's a number on the back of each car, and I've seen up to number forty three. Mm-hmm. So that that's a lot of cars. That's forty three. You know, little lift drivers. Right. You know, running around property. Yeah, you know, but I wonder. You know, they say that they'll take you from your resort to you know any place on Disney property. 
I wonder if they'll ever reverse that and say, you know, well, we'll pick you up at, like, say, the Magic Kingdom mm -hmm. uh, and take you back to your resort, or we'll pick you up at Disney Springs and take you back to your resort. Right. Um, I wonder if they'll ever reverse the direction of that uh, service. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, you know. I have yet to ride in it. You've ridden no, it. No, no. ridden it? No. We we meant to ride in it when we were staying. Yeah. And it, we just never. We never had time. We, we didn't we, have time for anything. We never plan. Our, we just don't. <laughs> we can hang out. And, and I will say we're, what we're talking about is we do the, the usually it's on Labor Day, the Labor Day yeah. weekend extravaganza. Yeah. And is uh, as planny as you and I are. Right. We just, we just show up. We just hang out. I mean, yeah. really like the first day. It's like five hours of just sitting around the table having right. cocktails, just talking, catching up. <coughs> right. And that kind of pretty much <laughs> goes in the rest of the weekend. Yeah. You know, do you want to go to the parks? Nah. No. Let's stay here. You can yeah. see fireworks. So yeah. minivans. I think they've been Minivan. a hit. People yeah. like it. Yeah. I hope they do thing other styles besides mini, like maybe a Mickey van or a Buzz van or, you know, Goofy van, a Pluto van, you know. The problem with those is it's not as punny as minivan. I, I get it, but I, yeah. it would be to decorate other stuff. Dude, yeah. I I would love the Stitch van. Yeah. Uh, I would love to see uh, cars. Yeah. I would love to see cars. Yeah, cars. Vans. Make them look like cars. That would be fun. Lightning McQueen, yeah. Mater. Yeah. That, that would, would be, be funny. That'd be great. Yeah. I'd be down with that. Yeah. Luigi. Yeah. yeah. That'd be really cool. Uh, next on the list, you've got Pixar Live. Yeah, live, live. Yeah, live. they had a lot of really cool stuff happen to Hollywood Studios this year. Yeah, they've been. Who's ever doing entertainment over there has kicked it up a notch. They, well, they had to. Well, there's nothing there. <laughs> yeah, there's a handful of attractions still, <laughs> but you know they were closing down and refurbishing enough things. Yeah. That they had to utilize their space, and Pixar Live was arguably probably one of the best ones. Yeah. I mean. Maybe the I think you've got no you don't have it on the list yeah. the Star Wars live show mm -hmm. you know and then there are different fireworks spectaculars yeah. the Star Wars yeah. fireworks spectacular <coughs> is what I'm talking it's about good. you know all those things are amazing but Pixar live I mean it touches that nerve of Pixar man yeah so uh, it was yeah. amazing it was good it was a great show I enjoyed it yeah I was kind of sad that it was during the summer when it was sweltering hot out and <laughs> well, it wasn't in one of their air conditioned theaters but yeah that was a problem you know. Uh, I had a muscle through it. The poor band had a muscle through it too. So. In tuxedos. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of those were the players from the Candlelight Processional. Mm, probably. So, oh, I, I know the <laughs> one of the percussionists was because yeah. uh, I saw her on the webcam mm. went during the live and a couple of the videos. I was like, oh, that's the yeah. that's the timpanist from the Candlelight Processional. <laughs> reuse. Reuse <laughs> employees. Like, yeah. Why not? So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. And then number six is uh, Guardians. Galaxy mission. opened at Disney Disneyland. Yep, Mission Breakout. Yeah, when they made the announcement, they were going to refurb guard, uh, Tower of Terror. Mm. Initial initial reaction was not positive. Yeah, like <gasps> yeah, but the videos coming out of there and the experiences we've been hearing about, just the animatronic Rocket Raccoon, mm. the amazing. You know, I've tried not to watch any of it in case they put some of those elements in hours. Right, I want, kind of want to be. A little yeah. surprised. It's truly amazing. A little wowed or yeah. something. Yeah. So I've been trying not to watch <laughs> the videos. Yeah. But they they've done a really good job because, yeah. you know, instead of having the you know, the, the, the lobby of the hotel, you know, you have the, the collectors right. area and the, the little nooks and crannies, the little hidden Easter eggs were amazing. Right. Animatronics are great. I've heard the use of the the drop mechanisms and the video screens they put in were oh, pretty really? cool. Yeah. Did they uh, use music for number one or number two? I do not know. Yeah, hopefully uh, it was I number one. <laughs> I think the soundtracks were custom for the oh, Tower of Terror. For the Tower. Yeah, and, and I know you didn't see it, but but I think in the story when they're going through the different things, you know, they, they arrive at a different scene and oh, they yeah. go another scene. There's one scene where they're where the thing opens up. And then you hear Rocket in the back say, "Is that Disneyland?" And then they just keep going. <laughs> oh, I was really? like, "That's classic!" Wow, you know. So that's a big that's hit. Cool. I I'm hoping that I'm pretty sure they're going to. I'm hoping that they keep Hollywood Tower of Terror here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. You know, I'm very excited we're getting a roller coaster and not a Tower of yeah, Terror thing. I was just going to be more Tron. It's just going to be indoor, outdoor. Yeah, yeah. Looking forward to that. Yeah, because the building energy. It's just going to be the entire queue area. Right. 
And then they're building outside of that. Yeah, it looks very similar to the design for Rock and Roller Coaster. Yeah. You know, there's the launch the launch tunnel and the return right. tunnel. Yeah. And the, excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> 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 sorry. So, hey, you take a week off, you forget you can't in the in the headphones or in the microphone. Uh, but you see the launch and the return tunnel yeah. and then like the sh- the the ride building out there. Right. Which explains the balloons mm-hmm. in line of sight yeah. now. So yeah. that's pretty cool. And there's still a rumor going around that they're putting a hotel out in that parking lot. Mm. Is that the Imagination parking lot? I can't remember. Which is the one to the far left if you're looking at Spaceship Earth. You know where the the one Disney stuff usually is. <coughs> uh, I want to say Imagination. Yeah, I think it's Imagination. It's going to be tough if they put it out there because we're going to start doing... Well, they've been doing Run Disney stuff starting in the... ESPN. The parking, no, the parking lot that oh. they built on top of where the speedway was. Mm. They've been doing a lot of the staging areas there too. So hmm. they've got they've got options. Yeah, they've got options. They could go back to ESPN too. That's right. Um, bef- before you go on to the next thing, I want to add one thing real quick. Uh, announcements for uh, new offerings at resorts, like at mm. the Caribbean Beach Club. Yep. And the um, Coronado. Coronado Springs, that new tower with the new restaurant. Well underway, both of those. Dude, yeah, it's crazy out there. It's a freaking yeah. construction site. Yeah, it's Walt Disney like... Construction World. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, if you drive around property, there must be 10 cranes on property right now. Yeah, it's Dodge. It's Dodge. Yeah, dump truck here. Yeah, at Walt yeah the what was it? The Orlando Business Journal. Uh, I think I think popped up a website. It was it was called something like a Orlando Crane Watch. And they had a map of where all the cranes were. Wow. Because of all the construction that's been going on in Orlando and Disney World. It's amazing. Crane watch. Yeah. So. I'm sure the crane companies are ecstatic. Yeah. And Bob's Barricades, who, you know, barricades everything up, is probably making tons of money. They probably are. I, got, I, I have a soft spot for Bob's. Long time ago. Did you hit one? No. <laughs> well, no. Long time ago, we when I was working at the church, we did a... We did a thing called road work or something, mm-hmm. and we called Bob's. And they said, "Hey, can we borrow about ten or fifteen road barrels and some cones?" We're like, "Yeah, come on down, get what you need." Yeah, we loaded that truck up, man. It looked like we stole ten miles worth of road cones <laughs> and big old barricades. It was awesome. So, shout out to Bob's Barricades. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you a quick story. We were in the uh, Lincoln Tunnel uh, back in our youth days. Uh, we were probably seventeen or eighteen. And we were driving in the Lincoln Tunnel, and there was all, like, barrels set up mm-hmm. uh, in the middle. Mm-hmm. Um, so my friend had a, a, you know, a big Bronco at the time with a big uh, you know, push guard on the front. Right. So he goes, oh, watch this. And, and, he, and he hit one, one of the barrels, and it was not plastic. It was metal. It was a, actually a real live right. metal barrel. Hardcore barrel. And the barrel. thing went, poosh! It shot, like, across, oh across the lane. Uh, we got out on the other side, and there was a cop waiting because it's you know like eight hundred cameras in the Lincoln Tunnel. Right, and he's like, "Hey, what happened with that barrel?" He's like, "Oh, uh, I, I I just moved to the left too much." <laughs> so now every time we go through the the tunnel, we're like plastic or metal, plastic or metal, plastic or metal, plastic or metal. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you know? There's really no way to. Yeah, no, really, unless you hit one. It's got to bump them. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta, wait for the thud. Yeah, oh, metal, yeah, metal. Ding, when you hear the ding, 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 yeah. metal, yeah, ding, 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 metal, metal, <laughs> or you hit thump, then it's the plastic. Yeah, or you hit the ones with water. You just go, oh yeah, the thump. Yeah, <laughs> those are the ones I always hit. Yeah, those were fun. Anyway, all right. So next on the list, uh, Geyser Point and Copper Creek opened uh, over at uh, Wilderness Lodge. Yeah, great place. And they've even made yeah. some more updates since they opened it. Yeah, they uh, they now have. Uh, you know that building right near uh, Copper Creek on the other side mm-hmm. says like Reunion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's now a DVC concierge room. Wow. So if you're staying at one of the DVCs, you won't go to the regular concierge level. You'll go to this Reunion place that will have your uh, snacks and drinks and cocktails and whatnots. Nice. Very nice. First one. So if it's there's one, there will be many. Right. <laughs> If it works. Oh, it'll work. Okay. I I think people will pay for that. Heck yeah. And the view is incredible. And you're, yeah. you're almost on the water. The only bad part is it's not actually in the building. Yeah. And I think the purpose is that because it's going to cater both the old DVC and the new DVC. Right. 
Um, so I think that was a, a central place. They for call it. it reunion, so that yeah. makes sense. Right. That yeah. They would do that. <clears throat> so. Geyser Point, Copper Creek, Geyser Point Bar. Was it Geyser Creek Bar and Grill? No. What is the name of the uh, What is the name of the eating area right there? Geyser Springs. Roaring Forks. Roaring Forks. Yeah. Roaring Forks is the quick service. No, 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 no. The outdoor, the outdoor uh, bar. Oh, uh, bar. Uh, that was Trout Pass. Yeah, not anymore. The new one. The new one is Geyser Point. Geyser Point, yeah. yeah. But it's Geyser Point. I think it's just Geyser Point. Yeah, there's something else that I'm missing. Anyway, yeah. that was such an incredible yeah, incredible nice. thing, man. It was great. Every time we go there, it's just amazing. It's probably not very filled right now. Pro- well, I don't know. The guy, he just built into it. It might I be. I don't know. I'm sure there's probably people <clears> in there. <throat> I don't know. If there's alcohol <clears throat> and people. And they turn the... Um, the Trout Pass bar into a salon. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's it's the weird thing. Such a horrible idea. So it's in it's in such a weird location. We've got this space that's right next to the the pool. Instead of keeping it like a instead of turning it from a bar to like a a grab and go yeah, snacks, right. we're going to turn it into a salon, right? Because you can get your hair done, did, and you get your nails done. Yeah. And I, I just don't see people doing that. But no, I, I don't either. Anyway, I just I, I don't they don't pay me to make decisions. Yeah. Next up, my friend. Magic Band two point And oh what fun it was. It's uh a dramatic <clears throat> change. Mm-hmm. Uh thinner bands, uh completely different design. Yep. Now the they have pucks. pucks. Yep. Uh, different uh, options to purchase things. More now. colors. They just announced a new color, light pink. Woo! Yep. So I think was that eight or nine colors up to now? Because they added purple mm-hmm. and black. Um, yep. So they got quite a cadre of uh, uh, magic uh, bands. Good word. Yeah. <laughs> good word. You've been reading? <laughs> no. Hmm. I can't read. Um. Uh, they they still uh you know you can still get the DTAC you know the print. Practically, I don't know, over a hundred designs right. on the Magic Bands. They have limited editions that they sell. Uh, they're selling one at Christmas party on Walt's birthday. That Rob right. the guy special, uh, you know, Walt uh, Disney Happy Birthday Magic Band. Yeah, it's cool looking. Yeah, it's purple with Walt's picture. Very cool looking. Very nice. Um, and then our friend that you know has every Magic Band, the Magic Band. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hey, guess what? You got to buy all new Magic Bands. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Let me get a second job and look cha-ching, at that. Cha-ching, cha-ching. Yeah. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't know how it keeps up because there's a lot of... They're, they're pushing out Magic Bands. Well, it's just, like, it's just like our friends over at uh, Vinylmation World. I mean, they yeah. they keep up with all that. That's their thing, mm-hmm. you know. It's not my thing, so I yeah. can't keep up with it. But, you know, I could keep up with, you know, Marvel You know movies. what? I don't even look at Vinyl anymore. Really? Not yeah. anymore? Have they lost their uh, their uh, allure? For me, they have. Wow. And even pins. So what's your thing now? Nothing, really. Oh. Well, you got books. You do a book yeah. a month, right? Yeah. I think I want to try to do that in yeah. 2018. Try to do a book a month. Yeah. I'm listening to uh, Creativity Inc. right now. Oh. Ed Catmull's book. Oh, really? Yeah. That's probably interesting. You not read it? No. It's... um. It's it's not a leadership book and it's not a biography, but it's a little bit of both. Mm. But it, you know, he 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 tells some leadership points on uh, what they do at Pixar to create the culture for creativity and, right. and communication. Mm. But he tell he 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 does the instruction by telling stories. Mm. You know, well, that's good. things like uh, they used to have a problem. I know this has nothing to do with the list, but it's fascinating <laughs> to me. So hopefully, it'll be fascinating <laughs> to you and your Patreon. So right. you gotta love it. Um, so they used to have these big long tables. You know those funny scenes where like at the two people sitting in a long skinny rectangle table yeah. and they have to yell and there's a candelabra in the center. Right. They said he said that we used to have a table like that. So they're sitting all the way around the table and they used to have a ton of people sitting around <clears throat> that. So mm-hmm. there wasn't a lot of great communication. And because the director, the writers, directors, producers all had to hear everything, they were sitting in the center. Right. And then they started doing name cards so what they what they did was they just created a tier system they didn't realize it huh. you know how close to the center was how important you were to the project 
Wow, wow. And then if you were sitting on the outskirts, you yeah. were even less important. Wow. And it, it really did not encourage people to communicate. Yeah. So they took the table out and put a big giant square table in and everybody sits at that table hmm. and they got rid of the place cards. They said it was almost instantaneous. Hmm. So little things like that. Wow. It's just fascinating to hear that story. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. to hear how he talked about Steve Jobs. They should have done something like a, you know, an agile meeting where they, you know, do it standing up. I know, right? Yeah. They probably have some of that. Uh, I don't know. How many movies has Pixar put out? 20. So this was, this was, uh, just after 14, whatever six movies back was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's talking about we put out 14 films. Yeah, you know. Wow. But it's, it's a fascinating read. Anyway, good. so. Good. Uh, speaking of, the next thing on the list <laughs> is your favorite. Toy Story Land is Toy coming. Toy Story Land, yeah. So they announced it, they built it, and now it will be open. Coming it's soon. It's crazy. <laughs> they made the announcement, and it's like, poof, it's there. Yeah. Proving that Disney can do it. You hear me, Pandora? Yeah. You know, if they're motivated, they could get it done. Yeah, they can do it quickly. You know, I mean, technically, they're only building two attractions again and a quick service. So, and yeah, that's it. So they've already got the the uh, the one Pixar thing, and then they've got the the um, Slinky Dog, Slinky Dog Dash, and then the other one is Alien, the, the Alien Claw thing. Yep. The claw. They're not doing like a. Aren't they doing like a, a roundup kind of thing? No, that's at Shanghai. Oh, we're getting the the lunchbox quick service, but they're getting. Gotcha. The, yeah, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're getting that meet and greet area either. We've already got the meet and greet <coughs> area though. Yeah. Isn't that going to be part of? I don't know. I don't. Know. There's still rumors going around that all that stuff in the animation courtyard is going to be flipped over to Toy Story. Yeah, should be. Yeah, you know, because launch. Launch bay will go over in the Star, Star Wars, Wars side. Yeah. Uh, the little kitty thing and Little Mermaid uh, may go bye bye. And I would be to something. I would be okay with the launch bay becoming like a Pixar, mm-hmm. you know, hall of toys. You know, well, no. <laughs> Al's Toy Barn. No, shockingly, because they had other movies in Toy Story. Thank you, Al's Toy Barn. I'll say it for the people. A uh, Monsters uh, Inc. Door no, no. What it was before the animation courtyard was all about the animator and they mm-hmm. had the different aspects of right. you know drawing and then you could meet the characters and all that yeah. good stuff. What if they did the same thing but did it with Pixar, the Pixar people? So sure. yes, you have a meet and greet, yeah. but you also have you know simple. Here's how we generated the pictures for right. this, and here's how we animate. This yeah. is you know you have Ed Catmulls and Steve Jobs and right. you know, Lasseter, Hugger. <laughs> lots of lots of hug lots of hugging hugging Lassiter Lassiter and uh, you know all those right there that'd be kind of neat too I'd be cool with that yeah. and I'd be cool with Toy Al's Toy Barn they they did have other other movies yeah uh, so yeah that's that's exciting and I'm looking forward to it just as much as I'm looking to the next on the list Star Wars Star Wars Land, Land. yeah both, baby both both attractions <clears throat> all both of those all both oh, of them. <laughs> Yeah, but so that's not the news, though. That's not the big news item because they announced that last year. The big news yeah. item was the hotel. Yeah, right. I mean, a friggin' Star Wars hotel. Yeah. I want to see how they're... This is, this is my theory, uh, and I don't know if it's true or not. I think where the current main entrance is, is that's where the new hotel is going to get built, and that'll be the entrance to the hotel. Correct. And then they'll move the main entrance over on to uh, Buena Vista. I've, I've heard that, too. <clears throat> So, that I think, um, and I don't think it's going to be used. I've heard 400 rooms, and I've heard 700 rooms. So, it's going to be expensive no matter which yeah, way. Yeah, it's going to be something either 400, 700, or something in between that. Right, right. <laughs> you know. It's either going to be four or seven. Could be <clears throat> six, could be nine. We don't yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, here's yeah. my hope and, and desire as, as a married man. But they haven't really mentioned what the second attraction was, right? They said the Millennium Falcon, but they haven't said. And the other one is. Uh, yeah, I, I. It's something to do with the you're on the deck of a Star Destroyer. Oh, that's what they've said. Mm-hmm. That's all they've said. So I'm assuming that, like, you know, Disneyland has the the at ats inside of a building. The I big, think we have do too. We have at ats, but they're outside of Star Tours. No, they built. Two right. other ones, and right. then they put them in the building. 
I'm assuming that those are going to be like you're on deck of a Star Destroyer and you're going to be inside of something happening. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, nice. uh, but, you know, as a, as a married dude, I'm kind of open because when you go to the hotel, you're supposed to wear their outfits and stuff. Right. I'm hoping that one of the options is Slave Leia because <clears throat> I look good in gold, people. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's an image I can't get out of my head now. Well, enjoy not sleeping oh, tonight. God. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Wow. No, geology. seriously. I think it's going to be cool. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, I'm already saving up for it, so in 10 years, I'm going to have We'll have to, to sign up for the annual passholder preview because that will be the only time we'll get there in the next three years. Yes. Because it is going to be... I mean, they're already uh, preparing for the onslaught at Disneyland. Uh, you know, by cutting uh, tickets out of the program, right? Because they don't want to pass hold any more pass holders than they have, right? <clears throat> um, and I think we're gonna have the same problem here. Yeah, when when you shut down the the streets of America and turn it into your queue area for Star Wars land, yeah. that's that's telling you something. Well, they've kind of learned from Pandora. You know, they have that back path to Expedition Everest, which is nothing more than a queue area now. Right, Expedition Everest. Yeah, there's a yeah. Uh, Pandora sits here. <coughs> You're talking about Fly to the Banshee. <clears throat> no, the Q area to get into Pandora is by Everest. Yeah, yeah. The b- the backside of Everest. Yeah. Oh my there's god. There's a path that walks down that way and yeah. it cuts into Pandora, and that's the entrance when the when they're backed up in the land. <coughs> they make people queue there. Mm-hmm. Now in the morning. And they make you queue up outside in a specific area, right. and then they walk you to you know where Tiffins is and take you in that way. And then if that gets backed up, then they make them go so all the way back so by you're, Everest. You're telling me the Pandora is down here. If you're looking at the map, Pandora is down here, and and uh, uh, Expo Center is up here, and that little trail like we yeah. do the five k the yeah. trail. Yeah, they're backing people up there, walking them all the way around. Mm-hmm. No, they're walking them down the trail. The Everest, there's a back trail that connects from Everest to Pandora. How? They they made a path. Unbelievable. I got to look into yeah. that. Yeah, I got to look them up. That's crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, I think they're going to, there's going to be a lot of people. A right. lot, Lots and lots of people. Bring your patience, people, uh, <laughs> to Star Wars Land because pack a big box of them. Right. <clears throat> um and speaking of which, uh, I was at the baseline. Yep, baseline tap house. Yeah, the the bar area right. for that queue. Right, because you're going to need that big time. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to need alcohol. Lots. <coughs> uh, very nice. Uh, lots of good beer. I really didn't have any bad beer. <laughs> I had everything I liked, which was good. Right. Uh, they only really have two food options. They have a giant pretzel and a, a charcuterie. Right. And that's it. But the other nice thing is it's uh, like the writer stop. Well, the writer stop wasn't. This is connected to Sci-Fi Diner. Right. So people for that, you know, you can sit in there now and yeah. have a have a cocktail and wait for your, you know, forty five minute wait to sit in the car. Yeah. When they made the announcement that they were closing down the uh, writer stop, mm. we knew they were going to make that the uh, the they were going to make that. Uh, <coughs> uh, what's what I'm looking for? <sighs> the uh, the bar, yeah. the lounge for yeah. Sci-Fi Diner. Yeah, so it's kind of like a a giant quick service, mm-hmm. and um, you know, it's, the line was always out the door, right? But it moves very quickly. They have like three cash registers uh, with three bartenders, you know, just pumping out beer after beer after beer. Uh, but what I think they need is like a queue area inside because mm-hmm. people don't really know where to go. Where to line up, or you know, is it one line? Is it three lines? So they're not really sure. I think they need a queue area to, right. to help guide people because they're everybody's used to standing at the some kind of corral, right? <clears throat> and they're all like, where, "Where do we go? Where do we go?" Yeah, uh, uh, that's that's know, it's like deer in headlights. Yeah, we saw a lot of that uh, when we're out on an island. They didn't have queue lines; it was mm. a mess. Yeah, people are, people are trained. They get it. They understand the concept of yeah. a queue. Yep. So, um, so that leads us to the number one, I guess, big announcement yeah. for this year that no, I don't think anybody saw coming. Yeah, nobody. Nobody saw this one coming. No. Is the Skyway, it's Sky coming. Buckets. Sky Buckets are coming back. Coming back. I'm excited. I, I am too. I, yeah. I, you know, I'll be a little nervous about it 
Because I'm. A I don't want to be the first person. <laughs> I either. Uh, <coughs> I, I don't want to ride it within the first six months. <laughs> oh, I don't know about six months. Three Couple months. months. Three, three months, months, maybe. Uh, I I hope they make it possible to where even if you're not staying on property, you can ride it. Mm. Uh, I would like yeah. to see that. Uh, well, you ride everything else. You can ride the monorail, the boat. Sure, yeah, I totally get you that. Uh, I would like to. I'm I'm excited. I love the artwork choices that they're making. Mm-hmm. I think they're really cute and colorful. I'm trying to envision it mm-hmm. when I drive down Buena Vista Drive. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just imagining. I, I can't imagine it. It's just crazy sounding. Yeah. It's just the craziest. Have you thing seen the, the renderings of the uh, different stations? Yes. Yeah. So they look nice. I think they're great. Yeah. Um, low profile. A couple of them. Just, they're just low profile, which is yeah, which is amazing. But then you have to stop and think. You know, yeah. that that's going to be right over the roads. Yeah. That's it's crazy. Yeah. And they did mention they are. You know, it's it's not it's not going to stop and load. It's going to be continuous. You're going to have to kind of walk into it as it's moving. Right. Kind of like the the. Uh, Orlando Eye, you know, the Ferris wheel. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't stop. stop. It slows a little bit. Well, it doesn't slow any more than it could. If it did, it would be stopped. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> um, and they're saying that they can, you know, put more cars on or take cars off uh, depending on, you know, how busy the uh, parks are. Right. Yeah. Without, the- without bringing the system down, that they can do it while it's, you know, actually going. Um, so I don't know. I, I'm excited. Yeah, the Sky okay. Skyliner. We keep calling it. Yeah. I keep calling it Sky Buckets, okay. but Skyliner is the name, and it's it's truly going to change the landscape. It's just it's just amazing. You look at the renderings. You, you just think about, you know, when you're walking into the back door, you know, International Gateway of yeah. Epcot. The the one rendering that that I, uh, I'm looking at right now. There's there's a Sky Bucket. Yeah, and I think it's going to be amazing. It's yeah. going to be freaky. Yeah. It's only two parks. It's uh, the studios and Epcot. And I think it's Caribbean Beach, Coronado, uh, Pop, and Art of Animation are the four resorts right. uh, that, that are going to go with that. Now, I, I'm thinking if that's pretty successful, I think they'll add on to it. I think it's cheaper on to that than it is to build monorail. Mm. Yeah, my <laughs> Thinking like a Disney uh, person would. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, which, you know, the only other option would be if they're still worried about, you know, getting traffic off the roads mm-hmm. is to expand the, uh, the lay, uh, the, the waterways Yeah. and have more boats going uh, to different places. Right. Right. I think that's a great idea. And you more know? monorail. Yeah. But I keep hearing that monorails are cost prohibitive. Mm. You know, I think the trains need to be longer. I think they need to add more cars, but then they would have to extend the platforms. Mm-hmm. You know, unless they load half the train and then move it and then load the other half, which yeah. I think is very feasible. So they'd have to make the platforms longer uh, at every hotel, every uh, park. Yeah, I'm not thinking that's going to happen. <clears throat> you know, but just but just having a, another monorail hub somewhere, and you can go to the different resorts. You can go, mm-hmm. you know. To Animal Kingdom, just just having connect the that. Wilderness Lodge at least. Yeah, yeah. that would be amazing. I you don't know. know how they would do that, but that, yeah, that that's be... a connect to the Magic Kingdom is the only thing, the only Magic Kingdom resort without a monorail. Right. I mean, not that there would be a monorail there, but right. I see, I get what you're saying. You so, know. Uh, so yeah, I would like to see. I wouldn't mind seeing the waterways opened up a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing. Uh, it makes sense. I don't know if they could do it, but it, it makes sense for them to have a water water taxi service from the Four Seasons. Mm. You know, that's the one thing that Universal did really well. They linked uh, all the resorts except for well, the two new ones. You walk mm. to it, but you you know you can you can still uh, you know you can walk to the parks from the two new resorts, but the uh, the other resorts are all connected by waterways and yeah. If Disney would do that, that that would alleviate some of the traffic. Right. You know, that's that's the goal. That's the end goal. Self-driving cars. Yeah, I'm still not. Self-driving just, buses. I'm, I'm really not excited about that idea. But, yeah, at some point you're going to stop and think about that. Um, well, they announced that they were going to be uh, testing it with a cast member, a cast member shuttle from the cast member park at the Magic Kingdom to the, uh, to the Tillidors. Poor I'm cast members. Have, <clears throat> well, better them than us. Uh, 
<laughs> All cards and letters addressed to Tony <laughs> Casanova. Employees are expensive, expendable. Uh, Spoken like a true former cast member. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to. I'm gonna have to ask some of my cast member friends and see if um, see if that's true or not. If they've implemented that yet. Be interesting to see how that would work. But for now, we've got the Skyliner coming. Yeah. Uh, a lot of really great. Anything I left off the list that we should have had on the uh, list? I'm thinking. I can't think of anything. <laughs> um, I really can't think of anything. You know, they've added, uh, you know, the holiday festival at Ooh. Epcot. Epcot is now the international theme park Damn. for festivals. Uh, that's that's one thing that, that came out of 2017. Mm-hmm. Um, 2017 has not been a really big news year. Yeah. But it's uh, it's it's not been horrible, which right. is funny considering it's a year that we had a, a D twenty three convention. Yeah, just didn't. I just don't remember right. there being a lot of big. I mean, Star Wars Land was was right. it, and yeah. Shanghai. Yeah, uh, I will tell you if you are coming for the holidays, I did go to the new Jingle Bell Jingle Bam Bam Bam, uh, and they did up the ante on this show. Mm. It is really it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, they've added a whole bunch of aspects to it. You know, way more lasers and uh, fireworks, and they cranked up the sound because now they they decorated the towers. They got you know screens and stuff up. They've really amped up the show. Right. Uh, the other thing on Sunset Boulevard with the little vignettes and the uh, Tower of Terror, uh, yeah, Tower of Terror transformations. It's very nice. I mean, you could you could actually pick out, you know, what they're trying to project on there. Yeah, we were driving down uh, World Drive, Drive, yeah, coming to the to the meetup last yeah. Saturday, yeah. and <laughs> I looked up the Tower of Terror and it had the same thing, and then I looked again and it was it was uh, in Toy Story or Up or something yeah. like. That's weird that yeah. you could see it that well from the street. Yeah, it was awesome. Looked yeah. great. And uh, on the Toy Story vignette, they there's a part where they make the words the Hollywood Tower of Terror, uh, Hollywood Tower, Tower Hotel, Hotel, disappear from the building. And I'm not quite sure how they did that. Yeah. And then you see like the claw bringing up the the. I'm like, what the hell am I? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? No. Come it's amazing. Yeah. yeah they they really that technology is fantastic. They've done some amazing work with their. Um, video mapping yeah it's kind of like what they did with the tree of life yeah i mean it looks 3d when, yeah. when you see those things come to life and yeah. the animals pop up so yeah there's a, there's a lot uh a lot if you're coming uh bring your patience like tony said i am um but um a lot of really cool things 2017 was a great year 2018 looks to be an incredible year right and we'll do a show um I think right after the holiday break yeah and uh, or next week, whichever one comes first, right? And we'll talk about that. Uh, I did want to say this is really fun. I won't say this on the show. On the on the show, I'll say it with the Patreon people. But so on the cruise boat, we met uh, this couple from Japan. Ooh! And so I, I, I said, uh, no, they were uh, military. Uh, and I, uh, I... from Philly, and uh, where's the other girl <coughs> from? Anyway, so. We're talking. I said, "So tell me about Tokyo Disney Springs because mm-hmm. they're, they're they're stationed in Tokyo. Tokyo Disney Sea, Tokyo Disney Sea. Did I say yeah. Springs? Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> uh, and they said, "Yeah, it's great. Go to Shanghai Disney." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, I've heard Shanghai Disney is amazing, but right. I I still want to go to Tokyo Disney Sea." I'm like, "Yeah, here's the problem with Tokyo Disney Sea. Uh-oh. It was made in the '90s, yeah, and you can tell it." I'm like, really? "Oh, well, have you been to Disney's Hollywood Studios?" Yeah. <laughs> It was made in the 90s. Yeah, and you can tell and it. And you can tell it. So I'm kind of used to that feeling. Yeah. So it was It was just funny. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Hello. Now we can hear. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm zigging when I should have said. It was funny getting a non-Disney person's mm. opinion of something. Disney. Disney. Yeah. So yeah. anyway. Yeah. Interesting. That's, uh, that's all I had for that, my friend. All right. Well, thank you for listening. And as we like to say around here, we'll we'll see see in the parks. parks. (laughs) 
The Disney Parks Podcast is not affiliated with the Walt Disney Company. All Disney Parks, attractions, lands, shows, event names, etc. are registered trademarks of the Walt Disney Company. Like a out of the blue Fate steps in and sees you through